Let me walk. And they're going to give us some good information. So we please. So we have different instruments that make a part of the Parang orchestration. All right. So theoretically, Parang music is done in six eight time, which is two beats in every bar and six pulses. And believe it or not, the most important, significant rhythmic instrument of the Parang orchestra, the Parang band, is the tuk tuk. Here. It actually starts the song with top, 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 and then the band comes in, right? You win. Can we hear that? Top, 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 top. Ah, good. So that's one of the main instruments. Moving right along, we're now going to bring in the box piece. So we have Lenroy going to demonstrate the box bass for us that actually does three crutches in the bar if you're into the theory of it boom 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 with the tuck tuck so we're going to start with the tuck tuck again and then the box bass is going to come in with the guitar afterwards one so good <laughs> Eddie and Maracas, the man in black, looking like Bond. <laughs> and the Maraca actually does a lot of six, eh? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the simple shake. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's have a show you some One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep on going and you don't stop. Stop, stop. That creates the signature sound of Parang the Quattros. And here we have two quatristas here with us today, Suzette and Paula. There's a Paula Weeks here, not Paula Bay Weeks. <laughs> um, and Suzette Mentonka. Uh, don't forget the, what do you call that sign under the sea? Sedilla. The Sedilla under the sea. All right? Make it a soft sea. A soft sea. Mendonca. Yes. Mendonca. Yes, yes, yes. So we only have to live, you know, right? <laughs> no, and it's interesting because there are two standard variations of the quattro rhythm. And luckily for us today, we have that demonstrated here because Paula generally does the very conventional strum that has a little percussive stick at the beginning that has a clear six. And Suzette does the more up and down free flowing strum. So we're going to pan in and out. Um, as we see the two variations of the quattro strap in the context of the other rhythm. So let's go with the tuk and then we all fold in after. <laughs>
Now, where the guitar is concerned, depending on the skill level of the player, um, we had to just play chords and I'm in the open position. Similar to the quattro rhythm Susan was playing. Sometimes we use bar chords. Because you have a little more control in terms of releasing the tension to get a muted sound. And if we had several instruments, you could even know we call a kind of tenor bass, which is like. That just kind of weaves its way as a contrapuntal melody kind of um, motif. All right, so let's go again right up. Hola. Oh, 